Hey, it's Lindsay T again. I want to talk a little bit more about the uh, listen more than you speak in customer validation uh, interviews. Okay, so I gave you the example in the other video about how Albert Einstein said if given an hour, he'd spend 55 minutes on the problem and five minutes on the solution. So I said, if you are thinking about your customer interviews over 30 minutes of talking to them, you should be listening for at least 25 and the sounds coming out of your mouth in the other five minutes should be more about the questions that you're asking and not about you pitching your idea. The example I like to give when customers or when clients come to me, entrepreneurs come to me and they say they've spent, you know, they've done 50 customer interviews, um, they've done all this validation, people say that like they love the idea. I ask them, you know, the ratio, okay, how much time do you spend talking, do you spend listening? But when I coach them on like, how to approach these interviews, in the other video I said, okay, think about it as a first date not a job interview. This is what I imagine a lot of entrepreneurs do before they meet me, is that they are super excited about their idea. And they run to their friends and family and they run to these customer interviews and they're like, let me tell you about your idea. Let me tell you about my idea, right? So they come in and like as an entrepreneur and tell me if you've done this, you can write it in the comments. You like spend the first five minutes just asking the person like, oh, let's let's do a dating app, for example. Like, hey, are you single and do you online date? Yes, I'm single and of course I'm online dating. Do you hate the apps out there? And I'm like, yeah, I'm still single, so I don't like the apps out there. <laughs> cool, let me tell you about my app idea. And they're like, do, 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 do. it's gonna do this it's gonna do this and then the customer sits there like a deer in headlights and they're like oh yeah that sounds awesome and they like maybe add in a few of their ideas they get super excited but they're just being polite because what's really happening is that this person the entrepreneur and again tell me if you've done this it's like more like a guy selling fake designer handbags in Canal Street. Like, yo, I've got bags. I've got lots of bags. Dior bags, Dolce Gabbana bags. I got Gucci bags. You want a bag? Let me let me sell you a bag. Looking for a bag? Of course you want a bag. And the customer, who's probably like a tourist in New York City, is like a deer in headlights. Like, oh cool bags yeah awesome look at them they're great and then finally at the end of the conversation the the seller is like well are you gonna buy a bag look like look at the bag pick it up do you want to buy it and at that point this is where the analogy diverges okay because in this conversation at the bag salesman it's very clear if the customer is actually gonna buy in that moment or not but in an entrepreneur's conversation who's doing some customer research and development, the entrepreneur walks away thinking, oh, this person's interested in my app. They said that they would use it. There's no forcing conversation about price right in that moment, so you kind of are misled to believe that lots of people love your idea and would use your app, and in reality, it's not gonna happen that way. So again, you're not a salesperson, you need to listen, think of yourself as a therapist, think of yourself as on a first date, not a job interview. Good luck on the customer research, and again, put your questions in the comments, I'm happy to answer them.